So stick around for today's quick tip if you're interested in seeing my new metal cutting saw. I decided to start building up my shop with some metal working items. And yesterday, I bought this DeWalt 15 amp corded 14 inch cutoff wheel. So it's got this 14 inch abrasive wheel that's capable of cutting five inch rounds and then rectangles that are four and a half inch by six and a half inch maximum capacity. That's probably more than I'll ever use. Whatever. So let's open it up, cut some metal and see how it works. This saw is maintenance free. It comes with a three year limited warranty and a one year free service warranty. This saw comes in weighing just under 45 pounds. It's not meant to cut plastic, wood, or magnesium. Not that I have any magnesium I need to cut. I guess I wouldn't even know what that looked like if I saw it. Oh, thanks camera guy. Now I know. The clamp is quick change. By flipping this up, you can move it out or in rapidly. Flip it down to tighten it securely. It's a pretty clever mechanism. After cutting metal, it is hot, so don't touch it. The back fence is easily adjustable to any angle. The one knock that I do have is that the fence doesn't lock in automatically at standard angles. If you need a precise angle, you're going to need to line it up yourself, including zero. Here I use a square to get a precise 90 degree angle. Here's a convenient Allen wrench you use to make adjustments to tighten or loosen the fence lockdown mechanism. So why did I choose this particular model saw? Well, a couple months ago I was taking a welding class and this was the exact model they used in class. So when I got home I looked it up and it cost about 200 bucks. So between cost and quality, I think it's a good value. Now DeWalt did not give me this. They do not pay me for this, but DeWalt, if anybody out there works for DeWalt and you can send me some stuff, I'll be more than happy to try it out. Oh, let me show you the best thing about the saw. Changing the blade is a snap. Make sure it's unplugged. You simply unscrew this cap to change the blade. When you tighten the cap, it's similar to the gas cap on your car. It clicks when it's tightened all the way. You can't get much easier than that. Thanks for watching Alley Picked, where I love making cool stuff out of junk. And sometimes I show you the tools that I use to make that cool stuff. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future releases. And until next time, Woodrow and I, We'll meet you in the alley.